Anita Ekberg wrapped in a black dress calling from the Trevi Fountain, Marcello, come here! Audrey Hepburn on a Vespa in Roman Holiday and a cacciapepe as it should be tasted in a testaccio tavern. Today we'll bring the very taste of Rome to your home. Spaghetti cacciapepe. Let's get started. The water is boiling and I have already salted it a little because the pecorino is nice and savory on its own. In the meantime, I'll take care of the peppercorns that I am going to crush with a meat pounder. A nice alternative use. About half of the crushed grains will go in a pan to toast. This way they will release their aroma better. Here is the right scent, toasted pepper. I can blend it with a ladle full of pasta water. I'll leave it here for a couple of minutes adding more water if necessary, and I can drain the pasta very al dente, firm to the bite, directly in the pan. I'll add cooking water to cream it. We're almost done here. Now, an hour only, I can take care of the pecorino cream. In a small bowl, I'll pour about half of the pecorino and a ladle full of cooking water. I'll mix it with a whisk. I won't forget my spaghetti in the pan, more water to them too. I'll add almost all the pecorino left and I'll add more water until the consistency is right. Here it is, nice and smooth. Now with the stove off, I'll add my cream to the spaghetti and stir immediately. Look at that cream! If it looks already delicious enough, you're forgetting a last touch of cacio. It is the final secret to thicken the cream and make it truly perfect. I can plate it. A little more pepper. And my dish is ready. Pasta, cacio e pepe will always be a delicious dish, but with these little hacks, you can really say that you made a perfect cacio e pepe. Buon appetit!